Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link tree down below. Has the link to uh, all of my social media. Please go down there and follow me across all of my social media. Also has the link to uh, all of my uh, YouTube pages as well. Please go down there, subscribe to my YouTube pages, turn on your notifications so that when I post content, you folks will be in the know. And with that said, I'm going to push that to the side. Come to talk to you folks today about Adam Gaze officially being fired by the New York Jets. You know, everyone knows over these last two years, I have been unbelievably disgusted and upset with the fact that we brought Adam Gaze in here and the result of Adam Gaze being here. I attempted to warn people constantly about who he was the second that we hired him. And, you know, there was pushback from certain spots, particularly from mainstream media at one point. I remember guys like Colin Cowherd were yelling down, shouting down any Jets fans that said anything about Adam Gaze not being the right hire, even though there was full-blown proof and facts that he would not work out here from the very beginning. We knew from a scheme standpoint, it wasn't going to work. We knew from a coaching standpoint, it was not going to work. And we knew from a, point, a standpoint of him just dealing with players on a daily, it was not going to work. We saw what he'd done in Miami. We saw it. We saw it. People were just shouting us down. Mainstream media called people, called Jets fans that didn't like Adam Gaze or didn't want him here. Idiots, dopes. I remember that constantly. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Adam Gaze comes here and it's mad issues from the very beginning. From the very beginning, when he stepped in the door, him and our general manager at the time, who was Mike McCagnan, they clash. Mike McCagnan ends up getting fired because of it. He goes into the season and continues to have the same issues that he had in Miami. The same issues with understanding how to utilize players' talents doesn't understand how to use, utilize Sam Darnold, cannot put him in the correct scheme, cannot figure out how to game plan for him. It took Sam Darnold going to him and Gaze's first year here. It took Sam Darnold going to him and telling him, hey, listen, these plays that you're calling, they're not working. And they're not working because they don't work for what I do well. They don't work for what this offense does well. You must change it up. You must change it up. And then and only then did he even attempt to do anything to change the play calling. He would have continued to go down the same road, ho hum, even though our offense was 32nd in the league. It was horrific. He couldn't figure out how to utilize Le'Veon Bell. This man refused to put Le'Veon Bell in the slot. Le'Veon Bell was a Hall of Famer. Being in the slot, coming out of the slot, running routes against linebackers was one of his specialties. It's one of the reasons why he was the best back in one of the best backs, excuse me, in the league at that time. Refused to utilize him. Refused to utilize an elite offensive weapon on an offense that was talent starved. He couldn't relate to players. He had various issues with multiple players across the board on his football team, from Quincy and Nua to Le'Veon Bell. Him and Le'Veon had their back and forths as well, and it went public. It was, it was on social media at one point. Him and uh, Jamal Adams, one of the reasons why Jamal left was because he didn't feel like Adam Gaze was the right guy, did not like Adam Gaze, and didn't want him around. And so he moved on. One of his guys, like again, one of his gripes was he didn't feel like Adam Gaze was the right leader for him, was the right leader for the team. All the issues that we had offensively here from Adam Gaze in game, not understanding how to uh, how to make an adjustment, coming out and getting shelled and getting shut down by teams that we all looked at like, whoa, this should not be happening. He got beat by a Miami squad that he had just left first time we played him. Damn near lost to him again the second time. All these issues we continued to have and they kept him around and it lingered into this season. And now look at the offensive output here. We took our franchise quarterback, the thing that we have been looking for for years, years. We went through guys like Tim Tebow, Christian Hackenberg, Bryce Petty, all these guys. And we finally got a guy in the top of the first round that fell to us. 
who we all believed was to be our savior. I remember suck for Sam. Oh my God, we got Sam Darnold. I remember draft night. And we threw it all away by bringing in Adam Gaze. Threw it all away. Let me tell you something. I'm not here to, you know, dance on, <laughs> on the, uh, dance on the, on the news of the firing of Adam Gaze. He's gone. I'm here because I'm a Jets fan and I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I want to win. And I know that in this league, we will never be winners until we understand how to groom and mature young quarterbacks and have them go out there on the field and be successful. We will never be winners, ever. In an offensively driven league, if you cannot put together a competent offense and score points, you will lose. And that's what we've been doing for a long time. Joe Douglas, I need you, man. We need you. We need you to step up this year. And I, I need to see you go out there and get the right guy. This next head coaching hire is one of the most important decisions that we may have in franchise history going forward. Because if we get the wrong hire in here one more time, it's a wrap for us. It's a wrap. We've got to get the right guy. We've got to get a guy that understands how to utilize offensive personnel and their skill sets correctly. We've got to get a guy in here that understands how to, how to connect with young quarterbacks and, and get them out there and be successful and put schemes around them that benefit their skill set as well. We've got to get a guy that can come in here and have players respect him, that players want to play to the wall for. We've got to get a guy that can relate to today's player. We need a leader. We need a leader, Joe. Because Adam Gaze, Adam Gaze was no leader. And the fallout from it, look at us now. Look at us now. So please comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you feel about Adam Gaze being fired? What are your thoughts about Joe Douglas going into this uh, coaching search that we're going to have? Going into the offseason, do you trust Joe Douglas to get the right guy in here? How are you feeling right now? I want to know, Jets fans. How are you feeling? You folks have a good one. Peace.